forgive me for doing this with my left hand. I'm recording with my left hand, and I'm trying to pour with my right. And you'll see. Oop. That's okay. We can strain again to get the, the meat of the coconut out of there. That's fine. You see, there's not much left. I'll let that drain and then I'll push all the milk out of that. You can hear it, it's going down into the container. And then I'll strain again because as you see I kind of spilled over. And I like the milk that I put in my cereal not to have pulp in it. And I make coconut soup and I don't like pulp in it unless um, I've toasted it and it goes on top. Um, but. You'll see when I'm done. Okay, that is the coconut, the water that came out of the coconut, and I believe three cups of warm purified water. And you'll see the coconut meat itself is shredded, but all of the milk is pulled out of there. Okay, that is the coconut meat that you have left. It's pureed, so it's finely chopped. Um, I've drained as much of the nutrients out of it as I believe I can get. Now all I'm going to do is put that on some aluminum foil and toast it. And it goes atop salads. I fry my chicken in it, or rather bake my skinless chicken in it with some seasoning. I mean, I use it. I use every part of the uh, meat of the coconut. And that's the last of the coconut milk that is going to be incorporated into the rest and there you have it coconut milk and uh, I think that's about a gallon out of two large coconuts that's about a gallon of coconut milk I'm gonna strain that finely again and then put it into a gallon container and put it in the refrigerator and use it as I do you can also uh, boil it and then set it to the side and skim the top to get pure coconut oil off of the top. And I do that from time to time because uh, foods fried in coconut oil has a really sweet flavor naturally. But I don't fry that often, so I don't I haven't done that as of lately. But there you have it. This is three quarts, just a little bit shy of three quarts out of two large um, coconuts. So this going, this is going in the refrigerator to cool and every so often I'll shake it, I'll shake it. And right before I use it, I'll most definitely shake it because the oils in it will separate. So that's that and I am about to toast on a cookie sheet. I have to wash my cookie sheet but it needs to dry out a little bit. The coconut meat. And once I toasted it toasts very quickly I need to say that so you want to just be in the kitchen watching through the window of the stove and light brown go ahead and take it out and shake it and then it'll reveal white meat and then that'll toast and shake it again and then when it starts to get golden brown that's it let it cool off and then put it in a ziploc and you can store it in wherever you store your flour and at that point if you wanted to go ahead and uh, powder it uh, puree it into powder you can also use use it in cakes as flour or however you would use flour you can use the meat of toasted coconut all right guys this is Babette trying to let you know what's up healthy wise